It's been about two months now since I first started taking conversational hypnotherapy. I've been doing workshops, I've been going to practice sessions and learning a few new skills, and I've been doing one-on-ones, all through my friend Gabriel who teaches these things. And I finally have a definition for you guys. This is my understanding of what conversational hypnotherapy is. It is the use of conversation that works with the conscious mind in order to get through to the subconscious mind in a way that alters a person's life by changing, making lasting changes with the person's thoughts and beliefs, ultimately affecting the way the person feels and behaves. And this is different from counseling, in that counseling listens and works with the conscious mind, but goes deep into the person's issues. I've actually seen one lady um, who was really shy, she opened up so quickly in one of the workshops. And I've seen another guy who had this really strong fear of heights where, you know, if he went to his friend's uh, apartment on the 55th floor, he would actually have to sit on the ground because he was so afraid of being that high up. But through that workshop, he changed and now he can go up and he can go onto like a rooftop even and be completely fine. And it's, it's amazing these things that conversational hypnotherapy can do. And for myself, between the knowledge that I've gained at the workshops, um, the skills that I've gotten from the practice sessions, and the one-on-ones, I've noticed a few changes in myself that were pretty amazing. Some of the things that I've overcome, my fear of abandonment. I always felt like I had to walk on eggshells with everyone. And if I made even the tiniest mistake, that was it. The person was gonna leave. And I felt that way with my emotions too, if I needed to talk to somebody. I didn't feel like I could do that because I was so afraid that opening up and showing those not so nice emotions would make the person leave. But I've overcome that and I've built trust with people and I trust myself to be able to, you know, determine who I can, you know, tell these things to. And I, I trust in these people to be able to be open and talk about things that go wrong if I do, you know, make a mistake or I cross some lines. You know, and I can feel more open because of that. I'm more optimistic. I have overcome intimacy issues. I've been able to be more encouraging and supportive where I couldn't really do that before. And I can do that not with not just with other people, but myself, too. Um, I'm more compassionate, I'm more friendly, I'm more genuine, you know, I, I do things that I want to do and I express myself even more than before. And I've overcome my need to have everyone be like my best friend, because I, I don't need that. But before, I needed to have it that way, and if I didn't have it that way, I would just feel alone. But I've, I've seen the, the light, I guess. And I've been able to overcome that need, that urge, that strong emotional attachment. I don't need that anymore. And that's just a few of the things that I've overcome. So to help you better understand, I'm going to give you an analogy. So I do bike courier work, and a big part of that is riding around the city on my bike. Well, the seat that I've been riding for the last little while is this, and it is extremely uncomfortable. That's what it looks like, very little pattern. It really literally looks like something from a horror movie. Now, this thing, when I ride on it, it feels like there's something poking the side of my ass. It's very uncomfortable. And it's really interesting 
how humans work. Like, they will go through life riding these really uncomfortable seats. Why? Because that's the only seat that they have. And they will keep pushing through and pushing through and pushing through when really this thing is a pain in the ass. Now conversational hypnotherapy is like saying you deserve more. So let's go find you a better seat. And that's how it is. So I want to share that with you guys because I want to, you know, show you some options. And hopefully, you know, you guys find the answers there and you're able to get through your ruts. Kind of like I've gotten through some of mine. Anyway, that is my video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Comment below and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos. Until next time, see you later. Bye.